do this. Oh, I had it upside down. Whoops. Here's the instruction book. Leave it in the middle or hide the cord. So for me, I feel hiding the cord works best for me for videos because nobody wants to see a bunch of cords laying around and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it at the end and then I could zoom in whenever I want to. This is how it's looking so far, so good. So let's get this going. Let's test it out and cook something up. Picked up a digital thermometer for meat. I'm gonna be trying this out for the first time. I've actually used a regular one. I've never tried a digital. So I'm just gonna try this out, give it a whirl because I am doing filet mignon and I'm gonna try to get it spot on. If I don't, you know, I'm just going with the flow, doing me, trying out new things. And I'm gonna try out this digital thermometer and let's see how it works. Frying classic olive oil. And this is just made for frying. So it could take a higher heat tolerance. I'm gonna add my onions. These are just yellow onions, and this is for the romesco sauce. I have some red bell pepper. I'm not gonna saute them whole, cause I wanna de-seed them first and take the stem off. And that's just how I do it. I have some tomatoes and everything is going to reduce in size as it cooks. So don't be worried about a crowded pan because it's all gonna reduce. So I like to leave my tomatoes whole. I have a clove of garlic, a large clove of garlic and a medium size. As far as your taste preference, you could add as much as garlic as you like. I just want to get this on a high heat, roast it up a bit to where you see that char. So this is doing pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and start adding some sea salt. Pepper. Some paprika. You want to cook your bell peppers, onions, and garlic until you get a bit of a char on them and they soften up and then you're ready for the blender. Everything in the blender, I'm going to go ahead and add my spices and my salt and stuff like that, which isn't much, but I did take my garlic, which was really softened. I did give it a rough chop because I just like to do that before I blend it. So I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of paprika, sea salt. black pepper, two tablespoons of just regular white distilled vinegar, one fourth cup of water. Don't forget to taste test because I wanna see if I need any more salt, pepper, paprika, or vinegar. Ooh, that is so subtle. If this is really subtle and it's just really, really good, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it up a notch, add some more vinegar. Just a bit more paprika, sea salt, a 
and pepper. Let me give this a taste. This is delicious. Let's get started on our side. I'm going to be using the same frying classic olive oil that I used in the beginning of this video. You could use whatever oil you like. I'm going to add my flat beans, also known as snow peas, some thinly sliced red bell pepper, one clove of smashed garlic, some sea salt, black pepper, give this a nice toss, and also keep in mind you want to prep cook your snow peas and or flat beans, make sure you snip the ends off, take that vein out, and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and saute these until my peppers are tender, I'm going to cover them and turn the heat off. I've seasoned my filet mignon on one side so far. It's paprika, salt and pepper, fresh chopped garlic, a touch of paprika, some sea salt, some black pepper. Lift my filet mignon and yes, I want a nice dark Ooh, there we go. We have 139 right there, 143. Okay, okay, okay. We're about to take this off right now. And keep in mind, I am new to this cooktop. Taking this off to rest while I cook my shrimp. I'm leaving the legs on, shell on. These are already deveined and clean. I just like it for presentation. And for those who like to peel their shrimp while they're eating, it's kind of like an experience. I actually like that. Salt, pepper, oil, and then garlic makes everything better. Toss a bit of the romesco sauce on my shrimp. Let's get this plated because it's going to be nothing but delicious. This is my take on a Spanish steak and seafood dinner. I have some sliced filet mignon over romesco sauce. I have some flat beans and red bell pepper that I sauteed with garlic, salt and pepper. And then I have my shrimp, which I tossed in the romesco sauce. You could add some rice. You could do whatever you want with this. It's really, really good. You're going to love it. Try it out and I'll see you in my next video. This is amazing. You do not have to slice your filet mignon for the video because you're not going to be on video. But if you do decide to make this, it's really, really good. It's really tasteful. You're going to love it. 